Zero Two, the new premium all metal handgun from Arex. The new Zero Two is largely based on its predecessor. The similar weight and size give it a familiar feel in the hand. That's what she said! The controls are ambidextrous and on the same position as Zero One. Out with the old and in with the new. Let's check some of the changes and upgrades that Arex made to the platform. One of the biggest gripes that people had with the Zero One were probably the grips. The grip was just too big and too bulky. Now, for me, I like a big, thick grip. It gives me a lot of purchase and I can control the handgun and have almost zero recoil with it. Arex took the inspiration from Alpha, their competition-ready series of handguns. And as you can see here, the grip on the Zero Two wraps around. It has a noticeable reduction in the back, a small beaver tail, an undercut and aggressive serrations in the front. Even the Magwell got some attention with the improved flare for easy reel. Stand by! Go, 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 go! Most people probably won't notice the subtle difference in the Magwell in the Zero Two, it's just a bit bigger, more flared up, and it helps you with the reloads. With reloading this one, it's easier and there's less hiccups. You don't have to be perfectly aligned with the Magwell. You can be a bit crooked here, but it still guides it into the gun nicely. Target, 110 meters. Elevation, 20 degrees. Half degree left. Send it. Hit. The slide received a nice facelift with more refined curves and some internal upgrades. The standard model still features a loaded chamber indicator, but the biggest difference are the sights. The Zero Two uses the same dovetail cut as the Arex Delta Gen 2, which means that it's compatible with most modern sights on the market, like the ones uh, for 6 hour P226, the P320. Springfield XDM and so on. Looking on the outside, the lower receives some subtle but noticeable improvements and it still features the full dust cover with three rail slots. The Zero Two is also rated to work in Australia. The controls are almost identical as with the Zero One. So we have the ambidextrous magazine release, the ambidextrous safety, the bolt release and a decocker, and a lever for a disassembly. A heads up for previous Zero One users. There's a small but important difference when disassembling and assembling the gun. You still use this lever here. You know, with the Zero One, when you put the slide back on and rack it fully, the lever would jump in its initial position and lock the slide properly. Well, with this one, it doesn't. Now, there is a small redesign in the shape of the magazine release. So this one is not compatible with the Zero One, but the magazines are. The original magazine that was designed by Arex for the Zero One handguns also fits the Alpha and the Zero Two. The magazines are made by Megar and they hold 18 rounds in this configuration, but you also have an option for plus two plate. Trigger 
hammer and some trigger components are compatible with Zero One. The difference is in the hammer strut, which is very similar to the competition ready handgun, the Alpha, which means that you can use all of the competition different weight springs for your hammer to upgrade the Zero Two. The slide release and the decocker works in an interesting way. The Optics Ready version comes with six plates which are compatible with most optics on the market. Want to hear my expert opinion about the Zero Two? I will go a little poetic and say if the Zero One pistol is the original Puch, then the Zero Two pistol is a modern day G Class. Both of them started as a service machine, but with time they evolved into something cooler and better. But at the end, they still kept true to their roots. Bam! And by the way, they were both designed and made by a Slovenian. combat trigger is very reminiscent of the Zero One, but I feel like the double action long pull is just a bit lighter and more even. The single action has a very distinct wall and a clean break. There is not much of over travel, though I personally would prefer a shorter reset. But the reset is audible and tactile. Stand by! Don't suck! Shooters, are you ready? Stand by! So today we shot more than 600 rounds with this particular pistol and the optics works great, it still holds zero. It would be great if they would make or offer a metal option for this. So what's the final verdict on the Zero Two? Well, 
there is no surprise that we really like it. I'm a fan of the Zero One and this is just a very good improvement on the original design. This handgun is very accurate and super reliable and at least in my personal opinion it looks great. Peak aesthetics. Now this is still very much a military slash police oriented design so I understand their choices but I would maybe like to see a different kind of trigger, an enlarged magazine release button or at least have it as an aftermarket part available. Also competition spring set, maybe a skeletonized hammer and so on. But if you already own a Zero One, does it make sense to upgrade? Well yeah, for some people it might. Just because of the more ergonomic, slimmer grips, the original grip texture of the factory grips is better. These are the grips. They are very, very grippy. And this one offers um, compatibility with most common uh, sites that you can get aftermarket. So, for example, if you already have a Zero One without the optics ready plate, you could get this one and upgrade two in one. It is a very nice handgun and it's definitely approved by Polenar. Guys, thank you for watching and see you soon. The slide release and a decocker works in an interesting way. <laughs> <laughs>